Hi y'all. Sorry it's a little dark, but it is what it is. So um my weekend was fantastic. I had so much fun, so much fun. Um I did a whole lot of nothing but being spoiled. Sure enjoyed it. Really did. Um didn't get to go to the dirt track because of the rain. Every weekend almost it's been rained out. I don't know what's going on, but the track gods are not looking down on us right now. <laughs> so, anyway, I did get some stitching done while we were just sitting there just chilling. I got some, I went and did some stitching. I got the, I know they're called flying geese units in quilting. So that's what I got done on this right here. And then each one of these is white. So, yep, and then each corner gets that thing right there. So, I'm not 100% thrilled about the color scheme like I've told y'all before, but it is what it is, and yeah, it is. Now, um, today I found a pattern that somebody was selling, and I was like, you know, I've been wanting this pattern, but... I don't need anything else because I have so many patterns that I have not started. Well, because they don't have kit, they are not kits. So I have magazines, a lot of magazines, and a lot of patterns that I have not done yet. They're probably going to start slowly being gifted away and go from there. Um, or I'm going to try to maybe sell them on D Stash or something. Um, but it's called. It's a hands-on designer, Sunflower Manor. And y'all know I love my sunflowers. And barns and farmhouses and it's all of that. The thing that bothers me with hands-on design is they use the most expensive thread. I've, I, I'm, I don't know how why they do it. But they use very expensive floss. Uh, Weeks Dye Worth, um, another one, Gentle Arts, stuff like that. I can't afford that shit. And when you try to go to convert it to DMC, it's pretty much tooth pulling. It's really hard. And I hate that they do this because I understand, you know, it's made for the fancy stuff. But for us normal folks that can't afford that shit, um, a DMC list would be great. I don't have the pattern yet. But I went ahead and looked up um, the pattern and all the flosses I need because I know Hands-On Designer is famous for this shit. I love Hands-On Designer. Don't get me wrong. They are one of my go-to patterns. They do the urine chalk. They are fantastic. She is an amazing work artist who works with Priscilla Blaine to do all the chalkboard stuff. And I thoroughly enjoy their stuff. But it comes down to reality is some of us can't afford that shit. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Just for one skein of that stuff was like eight or nine dollars. I'm not spending that money on that. I don't have that kind of money to spend on that. So I just bought the pattern and I got some of it converted to DMC because I found conversion list. But the other kinds are not there. Like here's the list of threads it needs. And there's like one more that I don't know what it is. I don't know how to even go about converting it and everything. And I wish, and I wish there would be like a master DMC list. They use this color, this color, this color with weeks and dye worth and, and all these colors. Why couldn't they put up a list of together of DMC colors and have their pattern in their expensive fancy floss and then have their patterns also in a form for us regular people. I know it may be a little bit of extra work, but it just makes sense to me. But I mean, it's not about me. But I think there's a lot of artists, I mean a lot of cross stitchers out there that are in the same boat I am. So. I think it would be beneficial, but what do I know? You know, what do I know? 
Um, anyway, so I'll just have to hunt down what I can. I may talk to Miss Rita and be like, what do I do? How do I, how do I convert this? So, when the pattern comes in, I'll let you know and I'll show you. Still not making a lot of progress on the ripple. It's very light. It's very nice and soft. Um, it's a three weight yarn and I'm using a J hook. It, it's a little thick, but this is still one skein and I think it's turning out really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I still have it's done all that, and then I have, let's see if you can see, I still have all that to go. So it's turning out really well, and I'm enjoying it. I did get the DMC floss to, yeah, to finish, um, to start the season quilts, the winter quilts. I did get that done. I haven't made too much progress on this one. But I'm not going to make it too big because it is pink and white and there's not going to be a lot of market for a pink and white blanket. So it is what it is. Um, yeah, that's about it for today. Oh, good though. I'm so tired. I am so tired, but oh well. I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. I know mine was full of laughs and just, it felt good to just <sighs> take a break from reality and I'm sorry y'all, I'm sweating. I'm so sweating. I look nasty, I know. Um, and just chill out and have a really good weekend. I needed that. So... I had a really good time and uh, he should be back in the next week or two for a couple weeks because he's got he bitted out a job in Abilene they got two houses they got to do he is a I want to say he's a contractor really because he remodels homes um, so that's what he does and I'll have um, Shelby with me Shelby is just so cute. She's only like this big. Her paws are huge. She's going to be a big girl. But uh, she's just rotten. She's just so cute. Y'all will love her. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna try to kennel train her. Even though he leaves her, you know, out. I'm like, no. No. Because she'll chew up my shit. So, I'm going <laughs> to question me luck. I'm going to kennel train her while she's here. Um, I may need a bigger kennel, but... I'm going to try to get her a little bed on Chewy, and I'm going to try and get her a little blanket, and so that way it'll be all ready for her, and it'll be just smooth, you know, so she doesn't have to, because it's only going to put her in the kennel when I'm leaving the house, because I already told Robert, I said, I'm not, I'm not about to have her loose in my house. Um, she's cute and everything, but... I don't need her peeing, pooping, or destroying what's left of my house. <laughs> so, anyway, y'all take care, spread peace, love, and kindness, and we'll talk to you another day.